You ever been going to the store, whether you are the parent or you went with your parents, and y'all are headed in, and your parents are like, look, we're going here for this one thing, that's all we getting, we ain't getting nothing else. And you go into the store, and you look, you see something that you like, and you're like, ooh, and they're like, hey, you can look, but do not touch because we're not buying it. That can be a very frustrating thing for the child. And it can be a very frustrating thing for the parent, too. If the child keeps looking and keeps touching and they want to get it, even though you told them from jump, like, look, we're not getting anything else. Now, there will be some parents that cave in and there's no problem with that. But there will be some parents that won't. The Baltimore Ravens have been those parents that won't when it comes to adding a significant wide receiver to this team, uh, whether under Lamar Jackson, whether under Joe Flacco. That just has not been their strategy. But let's just talk about under Lamar Jackson. Because that's what it is currently right now. Ravens have been lookers. They've been lookers. They've been searchers. They've been investigators. They've been researchers. They've been due diligencers. Even though that's not even a word. But y'all get what I'm saying. Ravens have done everything but close the deals when it's come to these wide receivers. They've done everything but. They've offered. They've tried. They've talked to. They've done so much, but the end result is always the same thing. No deal. That's why with this report from Jeremy Fowler, it's nice. It's, it's very nice. It's encouraging. It, it's a feel-good story. But we've seen the same result every single time. So I can't get my hopes up. Anyway, let's read the excerpt from this article on ESPN.com. He said, the Ravens have been fairly active in the wide receiver market. As Dan mentioned above, they've looked into Beckham, Odell Beckham Jr. Uh, and we did hear that the Ravens, they offered him some. They offered him a deal. Because apparently the Ravens offered him a deal. The, the Jets are still trying to offer him a deal. They're still trying to bring him on. Uh, and it, it was said that he could be waiting on Aaron Rodgers. It's, it's said that the Jets are the favorite. But it said that he could be waiting on to see what happens with Aaron Rodgers. And, and with Aaron Rodgers, it's more like a win and not an if. Because apparently Green Bay is easing up on what they're asking for for Aaron Rodgers. Because he might not even play beyond this year. But we'll see. So much is unknown with that. But it is, we all assuming that he's going to be a Jet sooner rather than later. But we'll keep on waiting for that. So he's, he's waiting on one QB situation that seems like it's a sure thing. Now, if he got to line that up with Baltimore... With the Ravens in their QB situation, <laughs> it's the furthest thing from a short sure thing right now. So I, I would definitely, I don't think it's a surprise that the Jets or an, another team besides the Baltimore Ravens would be a favorite to land Odell Beckham Jr. But again, hey, we won't know till we know. Continuing, he said, uh, so as Dan mentioned above, they've looked into Odell Beckham Jr. I've heard the same for DeAndre Hopkins and Cortland Sutton. Now, with DeAndre Hopkins... Um, it was said that the Cardinals have given him permission and given teams permission to talk to him directly. Like, hey, you could talk to them. And that's obviously to DeAndre Hopkins, to his agents and whatnot. Hey, talk to them directly. You ain't even just got to talk. To, you could talk to them. You could talk to them straightforward. And y'all come up with something good, run it by us. If we like it, hey, let's talk. But if we don't, hey, make it better. So they're, they're trying to move him. They're trying to move him. So with De DeAndre Hopkins, it's only a matter of time. But it's the same thing there, too. DeAndre Hopkins and his camp could look like, okay, Ravens are familiar with the organization, gone up against them plenty of times. Um, they interested in me. That would be nice. But who would be throwing me the ball? Even though I can produce with literally anybody throwing me the ball because I've done proven that throughout my career. But who's going to be throwing me the ball? Because I'm getting up there in age a little bit. I can still play. I can still move. I can obviously still catch. I'm still one of the best, but who's going to be throwing me the ball? Because I don't want to waste time. Raven's situation makes it murky. Makes it murky. It makes it murky for, for all these wide receivers. And then the same thing with Cortland Sutton. Because, again, he's apparently on a trade block as well. But they did say that the Ravens have looked into all three of these wide receivers. And it says they seem open to potentially – adding a quality outside receiver, whether Jackson is in the lineup or not. Potentially. But I just can't count on it, man. Because, again, my thing, the same thing I've been saying for years. Oh, oh, you, you want to do it now? 
now that you, you you got all this fiasco going on with Lamar Jackson, the contract stuff, where was this energy? Well, this energy has been here because they've been looking, but again, they ain't closed the deals. So I can't even say where was this energy before because it's been there. But when are the Ravens going to finally close the deal? When are the Ravens finally going to be like, oh, okay, we, we can give that up. Oh, okay, we, we could throw in a little more draft picks. All right, oh, we could give up this player. And I'm not saying that you got to give up the whole team to get a re receiver, but you got to be willing to give up a little bit more, especially if, if it's a wide receiver of high quality. Because they don't just grow on trees. And they certainly don't just grow on trees at Owens Mills. And that's not even a shot at the Ravens. That's just what it is. Ravens' track record when it comes to receivers, as y'all all know, it ain't pretty. Again, now recently that track record has seemed to be shifting a little bit. Because Hollywood was panning out pretty good. Uh, Rashad Bateman looked like he panning out pretty good. But the track record is it's not pretty. And the competition that they were up against, it ain't much comp there anyway. So, are the Ravens, that's my biggest question moving forward. Are the Ravens actually going to make something happen? Or is it just going to be another year? Another offseason where we hear, oh, they tried, but they just didn't close the deal. Oh, they offer, but they end up, the, the, the player end up going somewhere else. Oh, they just didn't want to throw in this additional draft pick. Oh, it was too much compensation that they would have had to give up. That's what I'm expecting. I, I would like if Ravens got either one of these three receivers. I think it'll be a nice upgrade, for sure, obviously. Uh, if it's DeAndre Hopkins, you got DeAndre Hopkins, Rashad Bateman, and then you draft the receiver early, too. Oof. I, w I would love that. I would love that. I think you should have done this a couple years ago when he was a Texan. And I know people say, oh, they wouldn't trade him to the uh, AFC. You give him the right offer, they would have. I guarantee you that. Texans just traded their quarterback. The man who's throwing DeAndre Hopkins in football. They traded him within the AFC. See, it's all about the right offer. Because I don't want to hear that, oh, man, yeah, no. It, conference, but this, AFC, NFC, no, 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 no. It's all about the right offer. You get the right offer on the table? You, oh, tch, you in the same conference? Okay, we'll see you when we play you. Bye. That's how, team, that's how team's feeling, man. That's how teams feeling. So, again, interest is great. Interest is where everything starts, and that's a, a nice stepping stone. But in order to continue climbing up them steps, continue advancing, how about the Ravens close? You got some opportunities here. You got several opportunities. If these are the three guys you're interested in, all right, let's see. Let's see. Let, let's see what you're getting ready to do. Because you have one that's a free agent, so you could come up with the terms of the contract. You have one that's a very high-profile wide receiver who has been great, but his, his price is a little bit higher. And then you got one that's a more under-the-radar, but a solid receiver. You can still play. So you, you got three different scenarios to choose from. Are you going to land one of the three? Or is it just going to be yet another normal Ravens offseason where you tried but you end up coming up short let's see what these boys do we out